Okay, now it's time to talk about your ICA, your ideal client audience or your ideal client avatar, ideal customer. Basically, it's the person who's gonna buy your stuff. Who are they? Now, I feel really strongly about this particular subject because I've taken lots of courses and maybe you have as well. And in a lot of these courses, what you're told is that you really, really need to know this person. What does he or she eat for breakfast? What, does, what do they like to do? How many kids do they have? What kind of car do they drive? How much money do they have? Let me start off by saying, the more you know about your audience, the easier your job is gonna be. That's a fact, and it can't be disputed. That's absolute truth. However, if you kind of know that maybe your audience is mostly female, you know the general demographics, right? They're mostly female, they're 35 years old and up, um, they're, you know, they make roughly $75,000 a year and up, that's who I know my audience is, you say to yourself. I say it's good enough to start with. My own personal journey is that because I'm social media marketing, I kind of, I kind of marketed to everyone. My audience emerged, because here's the thing, it's no, it's no uh, big surprise that my audience looks a lot like I do, and that's because you're selling more than a product, you're selling yourself, and it, even if you aren't the absolute front person of your company or your business, there's a culture that you've created, there's a vibe there's a feeling to your message and what you put out there. And you're gonna attract a certain group of people. It just happens. So I can look back and now say, yes, my audience looks a lot like this, this, and this. And I can be more specific. But I didn't start off that way. And so what I wanna tell you is that, in my opinion, you don't have to drill down on knowing that, you know, her name is Susie Lou and she has three kids and she loves yoga and hates laundry, you don't have to do that. Now, what is really helpful is that if you have one client who you think represents future clients, or maybe you haven't even had your first client or customer yet, but maybe you've just had a one-on-one -on -one session with someone, like a free, you did a free consult with someone, or you haven't even done that, but you know you know people in your life or you know a particular person in your life who really needs what you have to offer and would probably buy it i think it's great that when you write when you create your content that you think about that particular person so i might think about a person who is a client of mine her name is jane smith so jane really kind of represents a lot of the women who are my students and my clients so when i write when i write a sales page when I create a video or a training or whatever my content is, I'm thinking about Jane. I'm just talking to Jane because Jane is everybody. So that's my take on the ICA. Um, now when it comes to targeting, like really targeting with Facebook ads and so forth, that's a different story and we're gonna, we're gonna dive into that. But I'm talking holistically speaking, as you build your business, as you create your content, don't feel like a person with two heads if you haven't completely formulated in your mind who this person is down to the last detail. Just my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. See you in the next video.